Hi friends, today we're gonna have a wonderful time. Are you ready to dig in to God's word? We are gonna talk about a wise king and a bubble snake. What? <laughs> okay, let's dig in. Solomon became king at a very young age and he didn't know what to do, so he decided to ask God for something. What do you think he asked God for? A new car? Lots of horses? Lots of money? Lots of friends? Nope. Wisdom. He asked God for wisdom. And you know what? God gave it to him. King Solomon wrote a whole book about wise sayings and how you can live life. It's called Proverbs. Let's look at it right now. If you have a Bible, a lot of times you could just go like this and you can find Proverbs. Yep. Proverbs is in the middle of your Bible. The verse I want to read to you today is a very good advice kind of verse. It's in Proverbs 22. Three. Wise people see danger and go to a safe place, but childish people keep going and suffer for it. Hmm, what does that mean? Okay, so here's what Solomon was talking about. I know I want to be wise, and I know I want to be safe instead of going into danger. But sometimes I see those things in life, like a friend that made me mad, or a situation I don't know how to handle, and I don't know what to do. It's my choice. Do I stop and think and make a wise choice before I act, or do I stop, think, and don't do anything? Well, what Solomon is saying that a wise person stops, thinks, before he acts. Now, there's nothing wrong with taking action, but you need to think about what you're gonna do. You need to make the wise choice. Wisdom is kind of hard to do by yourself. It's like this. I've got a really cool science experiment to show you today. It will illustrate what wisdom and going to a safe place really looks like. Remember, wise people stop, they think, before they act. They stop, think, before they act. Okay, so here is our illustration. You can do this at home. You need to get some water bottles, cut off the bottoms, take off the lid, and get two of them. You can use your everyday dish soap. Say, Mom, can I use your dish soap? And then you're gonna make a cup of soapy water. I already pre-made mine. Did you know that if you cut off the end of a water bottle and this, you can make a bubble wand? That's what we're making today, a bubble wand. Here, I'll prove it to you. You take it, dip, Ready? Here come some bubbles. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, wisdom is like this. You try to do it all by yourself. Sometimes you do a really good job making the wisest choices. But sometimes you might have a situation that you don't mean to be in. You're in a dangerous situation. Kids are fighting all around you. Maybe you're fighting. And you might say words you shouldn't be saying or you're watching something that, oh, all of a sudden it's not okay to watch anymore. What should you do? You're like, oh, whatever, I got this figured out. I got this, I got this. Uh-oh, the bubble keeps popping. This single bubble is you and it keeps popping. That means you could lose your temper or you do something you shouldn't be doing or you didn't make the wise choice and you go like how Solomon says, like a childish person, like a baby, like, oh, going into a wrong decision, like you're in danger, stop. But. Wisdom means that you find wisdom. And we know that we wanna find the right choice by asking people advice, like smart people or people that follow Jesus, people that know God's word. You can even ask God for wisdom. Remember what we learned in James? Ask God for wisdom and he'll give it to you. You're in a situation where you don't feel comfortable. All you gotta do is say, God, I don't understand what's happening right now. Will you help me? Help me to control my temper. Help me to not freak out. Help me to do my math problem without going nuts inside. <laughs> Whatever it is, you can seek wisdom and God will give it to you. It could show up as a friend, a teacher, your parents, even your brother and sister. Yep, and this is what happens when you seek advice and seek the right kind of wisdom. Are you ready? So you take your soapy water, and I have a really cool contraption here. You can do it at home as well. Just get a rag, make sure the rag covers your bottle that you cut. And then 
I'm gonna take a rubber band. You probably just need a rubber band. You can even use a hair band. And you wrap it around like that, kind of make a little hat. And I'll use the one I've already started. You take this and you dunk it in the water. Here you go. What? Look at that! It's all clustered. I didn't make a big bubble, I made a big snake. Let's see if I can do it with the one I just made. Ready? Soapy water. Whoa! Look at that! I made a bubble snake! Okay, I want you to remember this. When you seek wisdom, when you go to a safe place and you're like, hey, I don't know what to do with the situation. I don't know how to handle this situation. God, I need help making the wise choice. He will help you. And these bubbles mean that you aren't alone. You see all these little bubbles? They're all backing one another up. They're each other's friends. They're giving wise support. A single bubble, you're taking a risk every single time. And one day, it might pop. Or you go into a dangerous situation. And I don't want that to happen to you. Remember, a wise person stops, thinks before they act. Let's look at our Bible verse one more time. Wise people see danger and they go to a safe place. But childish people keep going and suffer for it. I don't wanna suffer for anything. I want God's wisdom. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you next time.